this is my backyard. I've got a barbecue area over here, but then I got a really high hill. Actually goes all the way up and has an ocean view, but to put a pool in, we'd need to put a rock fall fence in, which is super expensive. So instead, we're going to do a DIY jacuzzi that doesn't involve a rock fall fence. The first step is to dig out a hole six inches to a foot bigger than the jacuzzi shell on either sides. And of course we trenched it all the way around the edge of the house where the equipment's gonna be. The trench is a foot and a half by a foot and a half. And we're gonna fill this hole after we proof it with some geotextile fabric, which I've done here. We started putting the gravel and we're gonna put a couple inches of gravel there. We've got a drain pipe over there. We're gonna pop the hot tub in there. And that'll be the first step to this jacuzzi project. If you're doing this yourself, you'll need a lot more gravel than you think. We started by putting a, about six inches in the bottom of the pit that we uh, dug. The uh, Immerse Spa shell of the hot tub arrived on a flatbed truck and it arrived with the motor. One of the harder parts was carrying this and jimmying, jimmying the shell of the hot tub around the side of my house into position. We were ultimately able to get it around the house and put it into the pit and leveled it. So it sat flush with the ground and perfectly level. In place here. We filled it with water as we backfilled the hot tub with granite. And then there's just three connections here. Now we got the hot tub in and almost all the way backfilled, filled with water. We've got uh, these PVC pipes cemented together using the standard connectors. Blue goes back to the Machine red is the hot water that goes back to the hot tub and yellow is just air. And we run these pipes through the trench. I've also got the protected um, electrical connection coming into the hot tub and through the trench for the lighting on the hot tub. And of course this stuff goes all the way back over here to the machine for the hot tub. I've got the bleed back valve cut in. One of the things I realized after I hooked up the hot tub was that my wiring was not quite right for my pump. So I had to call the manufacturer and redo some of this wiring. We're going to go ahead and splice the cable for the controller, which is here. I'm going to run this, this cable for this controller back to the hot tub. And of course the wire is not long enough. So I'll have to splice some wire in and the lighting for the the electrical light is going to go on here and I'm going to so I'll connect that to here. We cemented a layer of half inch cinder blocks around the hot tub so that it made it easier for us to tile and put coping on the tub. Once the cinder blocks are all cemented, it's time to put on the coping and the tiles underneath the cinder blocks. One of the challenges is what to do with the electronics and you can see here we have a workaround. We've made a, uh, cut a little hole here for the electronics to go into nicely right on the coping. So this is the finished product. We chose to do fake grass with some pavers. We put in a TV, Sunbright TV next to the hot tub. The controller's looking good. We got the blue light on right now. <clears throat> and uh, hot tubs getting a lot of use from the whole family. This side of the yard has the equipment over here nicely hidden. And uh, we're super happy with how it turned out.